Sicily is the largest and most famous island in the Mediterranean, and while Sicily is technically a part of Italy, it has a unique character. It's famed for being a melting pot of various cultures, landscapes, and cuisines that come together in a beautiful way. Keep watching to find out about our top picks of the best things to do in Sicily, Italy. Mount Etna the ancient Greeks believed that Mount Etna, which happens to be the largest active volcano in Europe, was home to the mythical Cyclops. Today, this locale, which can be found in the province of Catania, is one of Sicily's biggest tourist draws. In the summer, it's an excellent place to go hiking. Come winter, its peaks are a prime ski territory. If you're hoping to experience something a bit more relaxing, you can take a ride on a cable car that'll bring you more than 8,200 feet above sea level to see jaw-droppingly beautiful panoramas. Villa Romana del Casale Built around the 4th century CE, Villa Romana del Casale is home to some of the most complex and famous mosaics from the Roman Empire. The site has been deemed a UNESCO World Heritage Site and was abandoned sometime in the 12th century. In the 19th century, it became famous when its dazzling mosaics were unearthed. One of the most famous pieces on display is the Bikini Girls mosaic, which was excavated in 1959. It depicts women doing a variety of sports and exercising. Tours of the site are available daily. Castelmola. Nowhere else on the island will you see views as impressive as Castelmola, but in order to see them, you have to work for it. While passing through Taormina, you'll ascend to more than 1,640 feet above sea level. We recommend taking the bus route instead of driving, as the windy roads can be challenging for those not familiar with the lay of the land, and parking is extremely limited. You could alternatively walk there, but the trek isn't an easy one. Regardless of how you get there, once at the top, you can visit the historic church, eat candied almonds, and look out over Mount Mount Etna, the Calabrian coast, and the Strait of Messina. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Valley of the Temples Right outside of Agrigento, this fascinating archaeological park contains the remains of eight temples built sometime between the 5th and 6th centuries BC. While all the structures are noteworthy, the Temple of Concordia is generally considered the most important. The temple is one of the most perfectly preserved Greek ruins on the planet, so much so that it has even inspired the design of the UNESCO logo. The park, which spans over 3,200 acres, is the world's largest archaeological site. Gole de la Encantada Formed by the waves of lava that freely flowed many centuries ago, the Gole de Alcantara is a network of canyons that can be found in the Gole Alcantara Botanical and Geological Park. When the formation was created, lava flowed along the Alcantara River between Messina and Catania provinces. In the process, it formed several vertical and horizontal configurations, as well as a few basalt walls that are as tall as 164 feet. The Cathedral of Montreal. This ornate structure encapsulates the politics, religion, and artistry of Sicily under the reign of the Normans. It remains almost exactly as it was when it was first built in the 12th century. The cathedral's architecture displays the shift away from the eastern Byzantine forms that were once popular. The mesmerizing mosaics that adorns its interior walls are what the cathedral is best known for. While its exterior suggests otherwise, those pieces are still very much within the Byzantine tradition. The mosaics cover just about every surface within the structure, illustrating biblical tales and themes rendered in vivacious colors and with masterful artistry. Eastern Temples at Selenunte one of the most revered and cherished ancient sites in Sicily, Selenunte, has eight Greek temples that date back to the 5th century BCE. Nearby is the Temple of Demeter. The most notable of these is known as the Eastern Group, which are designated by letters. Temple G is famed for its immense size, while Temple E is considered to be an architectural marvel that's often listed as being one of the foremost examples of design from the classical period. Temple G was once the largest of all Grecian temples. Nowadays, it's been reduced to ruins. As is often the case when buildings are subject to the passing of the sands of time. Another section is the massive Acropolis, which is surrounded by ancient defensive walls. Some of these walls date back to the 7th century BCE. Temple C is by far the oldest and largest temple, dating back to 550 BCE. It also sits on the highest ground in the area. Parco Archaeologico della Neapolis, Syracuse. 
Getting the chance to see the most prominent theater of the ancient Greek Empire is but one reason why you should visit this archaeological park. As you approach the site, you'll get a good idea of what to expect. Along that route, you'll see both the Greek theater and large Roman amphitheater. Another must-see attraction is the Altar of Hiero II, which dates to the 3rd century BCE, a full century after the construction of the 15,000 spectator accommodating Greek theater. The Roman amphitheater was built in the 3rd century CE and is partially constructed out of the bedrock. Another compelling feature of this site is the opportunity to see the rock quarries where the building materials used to construct these marvelous structures were cut on site. The biggest of these is the impressive Latomia del Paradiso. Here, limestone has been harvested since the 6th century BCE. The Ear of Dionysus is an underground gallery that's famed for having perfect acoustics. Make sure you check that out on your visit. Dine on Sicilian Cuisine While sightseeing and visiting archaeological sites scattered across Sicily are certainly two of the best things to do, eventually you'll work up an appetite. Traditional Sicilian grub is fairly simple. It takes pride in its local, affordable, and all-around delicious food. Traveling to either side of the island will allow you to taste dishes that you can't find anywhere else in the world. Some dishes borrow elements of North African cuisine, while others are deeply rooted in Italian culinary tradition. Pistachios, almonds, citrus fruits, and seafood are featured heavily, as are artichokes, creamy sauces, and al dente pasta. For fine dining, La Madia is a two-star Michelin-rated restaurant in the south coast town of Lycata. Guests are served flavorful and imaginative dishes in a sophisticated, sleek dining room that makes sure all of the attention is directed at the food. Each dish is designed to invoke the feel of what it's like to live on the island. You can either order a la carte menu items like smoked cod or honeyed pigeon, or enjoy their tasting menus, which will allow you to discover an assortment of creative dishes. Another high-end hot cuisine restaurant that does a great job reimagining classic Sicilian recipes is Duomo Ristorante. This two Michelin starred spot can be found in the town of Ragusa. It borrows its name from the nearby San Giorgio Cathedral. The emphasis in their menu is on deconstructed Sicilian classics that reimagine them with a modern 21st century twist. Menus are seasonal, but they always contain at least three key ingredients, salt, wheat, and oil. The restaurant's assorted fish menu is out of this world. Osteria Ballaro is a Sicilian restaurant located in Palermo that offers diners a multi-sensory dining experience within a building that boasts a ton of history. It once housed the stables of the medieval Palazzo Cattolica. With its exposed brick walls and vaulted ceiling, this place makes for an excellent location for a delicious meal. For a feast from the sea, check out Viri Ku Seas. This waterfront restaurant can be found in the southeastern Sicilian town of Vittoria, and right across the street is a scenic beach, making this dining spot an excellent place to enjoy an assortment of fresh seafood after a day of enjoying the beauty of the ocean. The fixed price menu changes daily, so be sure to come with an open mind and an appetite. Start your meal with mussels, oysters, clams, or shrimp. For your main course, we recommend the homemade pastas and whole broiled fish. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Sicily? Do you think you'll ever go there? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.